All right, welcome to the Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. We've just achieved a, a spacewalk in an orbit of the moon. We've collected a whole bunch of science, like 300 points worth approximately. And we're just, you're just basically here in the cleanup phase in the aftermath. So basically, our apoapsis and periapsis are non-concentric and it's a pretty sleep, steep slope. So you can see as I plummet towards the 22, this 136 is going to plunge. The 22 is over Kerbin now, but um, I don't think there's a chance that I'll land anywhere near the base. Um, I'm hoping to land on water in front. I really have no control over where I land at this point other than I, it when I choose to release my added weight will um, drop me in a little sooner than further. So I really don't want to drop into the ocean. I don't think it matters really. I have the material bay with me. No matter where I drop, I can collect material bay points. But I'd rather collect something where I can get my other science, my mystery goo, and my uh, temperature, and also my barometric pressure. So right, what we have right now is heat. We could normally compensate with that for that heat with thrusters by giving it gas and slowing ourselves down. So. But we don't, and I am wanting to hit this continent here, and I don't know if I can do it. I know I don't think I can. Nope, I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, my only hope is to take all this weight with me all the way. I can see myself. Oh my goodness. I don't know what just blew up. I'm switching. There's my craft. Where's my Kerbal? Did I have a Kerbal die? I think my Kerbal died. Let, let's... I need to check. Okay, there's Bob. We're going to lose all that science and our material bay blew up, but we've collected quite a bit in here. So I'm not even sure how that happened. Uh, must have been an accident from our explosion. Um, Anyway, win some, you lose some. So it looks like we lost uh, temperature, barometric pressure, and mystery goo from near moon orbit. We can get that back real easy. 
Um, that's a lot of stuff, though. Um, that could have been up to 50 to 100 points, but yeah, we'll have another chance, right? We're basically going into orbit. Um, and we're, we're, as soon as we return, we'll complete this mission. Um, see? They've already given us credit. I guess now if we die, <laughs> we've still completed the mission. Let's go ahead and accelerate this. That's kind of uh, unfortunate that we lost all that stuff. I guess we were trying to do too much at once. And we sacrificed some science. So let's get to experiment collection. And then we're probably going to have a uh, mission to rendezvous. Which is the next step, or or you can do uh, airplanes, fly, or learn how to rendezvous in space. Which rendezvous is good because then we start rescue missions and we start getting free kerbals. And at this point, I can build a ship that houses more than one. You can start accelerating your experience. God, I'm kind of tired from more than one hour straight explanation demonstration application I never like to hit it doing my time acceleration I slow it down just before impact alright now Usually I put all that stuff inside, but it was a reach because that last vessel was so long. Good thing is, is we have our material base, so we don't have to take it. Look, 298 science points, 249. I know we just threw 100 in the trash or close to it um, when we had that little mishap. Um, sometimes we can go here in the debris field, and you'll actually see... The relay splash down so let's go ahead and fly that and with this may be the science that we need to recover no it's not and it just blew up all right and then look around for our other thing Okay, return, recover, which there's nothing to recover, it's just going to return me to the space center. Unless I somehow get it. No, I didn't give me anything. Alright, so I have 298 science points to spend, and of course you do aviation like that, and this one, that gets you to the next level, and then you can have two more things which I usually like to do um, um, this uh, yeah this one the docking port and this adapter here so I like to do that and I also like to get this one now if I'm going to do airplanes I take this one first go do my airplanes and then come back and do this one but if I'm doing it the other way around I get this one first so anyway now I have a little bit to save, 90 to go for my next ones, and 160 beyond that. So what I'm going to do now is just stop this one. No, let's go. Let's go to research, get our uh, available, which is... Attempt a landing or stage one. It's up to you. So basically, you don't actually have to touch down, but they give you credit for, like, lining it up. And then we can do a rescue and a rescue. And everything else is haul, conduct, and test.
Well, bring the Moonstone back. Now we have money. So we go back here. You can... Nope, not yet. But just because you have cash, you can upgrade that. You can upgrade that. You can upgrade that. There's your last... Oh, that's already upgraded. So now... We have a 100% level 2 facility, and we haven't even run our fourth mission yet. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, join us again when we come back. Um, we're going to actually land on the moon. This is, our, this is our end goal coming up next mission. So uh, um, they, they, of course, it's endless. We're barely scratched the surface, but in terms of this video set to develop your solid basic core skill set it's been necessary to do everything and do the drudgery we've needed to this point now it's a lot of fun time acceleration and a little a lot of eye candy and ooh la la eve's beautiful it's a big giant purple thing lathe is big and blue and it's an ocean moon um, minmus is kind of this funky green and it's a uh, um, Gilly is all sorts of fun to go there. That thing must be uh, full of holes and made of Swiss cheese. I'm not. I, I am not kidding. Anyway, um, as always, thanks for watching Kerbal Pit Space Program. This is pilot and space training experience. Have a great day.